Hey guys, today I'm going to show you this grid effect in Sony Vegas where these blocks are highlighted on the wall behind the rider. So as you can see, I'm going to show you how to do this in Sony Vegas. Now it's really simple on how to do this. Um, what you want to do is obviously grab your clip, and mine's over here. And you want to have your original clip underneath, and then you want to have your audio. And on the audio, you basically mark out on each beat where you want the blocks to basically start. So you eat each of the individual blocks. So on this beat, I'll have one here. On this one, I'll have one up here, and so on, so on. So you mark them out by pressing the M key. And then what you want to do is you want to split, split along each of the markers by pressing the S key. Left click, and then hold shift. Highlight them all, hold control, and drag and drop them up above. Now, what we want to do is we want to uh, mask out each of the squares. And I've quickly done a pre, uh, like a quick preview to show you how uh, what I've already done. But um, if I start on a new block here, if we go to here. All you do is go to your position. Just zoom in on a square that you want to pick. I'm going to choose this one here. Highlight and mask your anchor creation tool and then you just simply mask out along the box like this simple and then you go into the next keyframe and now you see it's, it's going to have moved and that your line is there and not here so there's two ways you can do it is one right click and delete all or uh, and basically redraw it or you can hold control and then drag it back into place and then you'll notice if I go across the keyframe again you're going to have to keep moving it back um, and you've got to do this for each keyframe now this might take a little while doing this um, but the obviously the effect looks good so um, just keep at it and I'm just going to do one more hold control and drag it back or obviously like I said if you go right uh, across delete all and then redraw it now that is the best way to do it if the um, squares change si uh, sizes and stuff like that so um, just be wary and um, I'm just going to show you how to add the effect so what you want to do is add uh, I know either uh, either or any of the colors um, I'm just going to add red and then obviously you can choose the color you want so it can be from red it can be down to blue pink whatever you want I'm just leave it on pink for now um, but also you want to add TV simulator and draw um, vertical sync and line sync need to be all the way up and so does your scan phasing and just see how the block is highlighted so if I scroll through this see it does that and actually the block stays in place so I've done this on three of them so I've got the one there oh, got the one there the one there and then I've got the one there and those will happen on each of the in individual beats now this part which I'm going to do now is the hardest part so I'm going to pause the video just in case I mess up and I'll come back so in order to do this block where it moves across and goes behind the rider like this we're going to have to have the full video above and it, it's not meant to be split this one so um, obviously I've unsplit everything so we've got to start on the first keyframe and go to your position again I've got to start with the first box hit mask and creation tool and obviously mask around the box again like so and then go to the next keyframe move that one back there now it depends on how many keyframes you want this to come in um, I'm gonna do just uh, it will go across two keyframes and then I'm gonna right click delete all and now what you want to do is if I zoom out zoom into the middle somewhere like that, that's perfect just hit your anchor creation tool again and then you want to highlight the next lot of blocks so you're basically going from this block one out and one up like this go across another keyframe hold control and move it back or right click delete all and then remask Right, so now we moved across another keyframe, delete all, 
And now we want to go across um, another square from here, so it would be to there. And for this one, it's got to be there, and then the one above it's got to be up there. So I'm going to start along the bottom, go across to three boxes, boxes now. Go across here, up there, like so. Then obviously I've got to go up one, so I've got to zoom out. And then it goes off the video, which is okay. And then across. And then it's simply going to be just join up with that. Alright, go across another keyframe. And then drag it into position. I'm just going to zoom in for this. Hold control, drag it into position again, like that. So this is the kind of effect you're going to be having. I'm just going to crop all this down because I don't want to be doing the whole video. So again, drag on the effects. Make sure your effects are fully up like that. And then go on to your color corrector. And then add whatever midtones you want. So as you can see, it does that. So it's pretty simple. And then obviously you keep going one block and you're gonna have to mask around the rider or whatever video you're doing. You're gonna have to keep masking um, and then as you come away from the wall you're gonna have to do one less each time as this one gains uh, gains more on the sides and on the top. But um, it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. So that's basically it. Comment, rate, subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.